I just got to Heathrow and I'm waiting to check into my flight to Entebbe in Uganda, which is going to be home for the next month or so. This project has been in the planning for about nine months now, so I'm quite excited to finally be on my way. I'm Dr Lucy Thorne, I work at Cambridge University in the Goodfellow Lab, where we focus on human norovirus and the hepatitis E virus. These are intestinal viruses that cause millions of infections worldwide each year. You might know human norovirus by its nickname of the winter vomiting bug. It's a highly contagious virus that causes dramatic diarrhoea and vomiting, whereas the hepatitis E virus normally causes an acute liver disease. The impact of these viruses in many developing countries is still unknown, particularly in Africa. This is why earlier this year I travelled to Uganda on a research visit grant from the Microbiology Society. The grant enabled me to establish a research collaboration out there and to begin a project to collect some much needed data on how common these viruses are in Ugandan children. Uganda is a beautiful country. The tropical scenery is stunning and it's so vibrant from the people to the wildlife and the music. The whole place just sounds so alive. I'm travelling to the MRC Uganda Virus Research Institute to work in the lab of Professor Alison Elliott. I'll be working on the Entebbe Mother and Baby Study, a unique cohort which recruited over 1,500 pregnant mothers and took blood samples from their children every year after birth. My visit's actually part of an exchange and I'm working alongside a senior research technician, Angela Naroga. Angela came to visit us in Cambridge and it's been great to have already met her before my away leg. To determine how common the infections are, we're setting up a test to screen the blood samples for antibodies against the two viruses, as this will tell us whether someone has become infected and has developed an immune response. Whilst Angela was in Cambridge, we developed and made some of the reagents that we need for this. So the purpose of my visit is to help set up this assay and to do the initial checks to make sure it's working properly, and then to begin screening the thousands of samples. The preliminary results from my visit suggest very high rates of human norovirus infections very early on in life, when children are particularly vulnerable to diarrhoea and vomiting diseases. It's my last day here and I'm really sad to be leaving Uganda. I've loved the experience of working here and the chance that that has given me to just live here and to get to know the country. And I think one of the best things about it has been the people that I've met and worked with. We've made a good start at trying to answer the questions about how common norovirus and hepatitis E virus infections are in Ugandan children. More though, it's felt like a good exchange of knowledge and I've definitely learned a lot by being part of the co-infection studies program and by being in a lab that's much more clinically focused. Through all the discussions we've had, I've learned a lot about Uganda and this makes you consider the viral infections in a very different context. So in a population that has very high rates of HIV, malaria and worm co-infections and the impact that these will have on the other viral infections that we've been looking at. So I think I came with one question, and actually what I'm leaving with is a much better understanding, but a lot more questions. So I think I need to come back. Now I'm back in Cambridge and I've just about adjusted to life back here again. It's taken me a while actually to stop missing life in Uganda and everyone I met there after having such a brilliant experience. It was a great opportunity for me to see a different research environment, to experience different ways of thinking and to learn and swap techniques and to set up a new international collaboration. Working with Angela and the Elliott Lab on this project has been amazing and I hope that it's the start of an ongoing, long-lasting collaboration. The Research Visit Grant has been a real highlight of being a member of the Society for me. It's given me the chance to do research abroad and I would fully recommend it.